Ladies and gentlemen, marine biologists have confirmed whales do in fact play board games. Hey all J-Town here. Today we're talking about a new event that went live called the Voyage Competition. So right above your auto drop loot rewards chest, you'll see the Voyage icon. The number indicates how many dice that you currently have to spend. It's basically a board game where you roll dice to see how many spaces you'll get to go. I get to go five. Great. I'll roll it again and see where we go. And you can see how it goes. It's basically a dice rolling board game, completely random. How far you go. It's completely up to the dice roll. Now, you land on special spots like that or glowing, different things will pop up. They may give you some diamonds, they may give you some resources to use in the main campaign. Or there could be this other little mini game that's basically rock, paper, scissors. You lock in which you're playing, randomly roll, you may get some bonus points toward the event completion, you might not. All in all, it's completely random. The only things that you can contribute are logging in every day and using your dice, purchasing dice packs from the shop, or using these lucky dice here, which you can pick any number of dice roll to try to land on certain spots. I recommend these glowing spots, high value spots. You're trying to get these points up to get these rewards. Now, if you look in the information, it'll tell you pretty self explanatory 20, 40, 60, 80, they equal themselves. I kind of don't really know why this is necessary, but God of Luck is indicated by the glowing on those spots, right? At those glowing spots, you'll get some kind of extra bonus, a little activity. It's all completely random. All right, once you go from the starting arrow all throughout and make it to the end, you'll get a chest with some rewards in it. The current round rewards are found here, and you can see the rewards for the upcoming rounds. At round 11, that's a pretty juicy reward. Every round has a good reward, but that is another level. This right here is also huge. As you can see, it is an investment, but there is a lot of reward potential in this event. Best of all are these Mythic Hero Shards right here. These are long-term goals for this game. You always want to be trying to get those if they're an event. So, just how for whales is the game? Well, let's take a look. In the Flash Packs, you'll see these Voyage Packs. They're in Flash because they're not a permanent thing. They only exist for this event. You can see for $25, you can get 14 of those. For $50, you get 28. For $99, you can get 60. So yeah, if you want to get through this competition with any sort of longevity, efficiency, get those high rewards, it's going to take some money. All right, so we count up the spaces that it takes to get from the beginning to the end, right? You start on this. So let's go one, two, three, four. All right, so there's 60 spots in total. And then the leap into getting this chest. So you'd have to roll a perfect six. 10 times in order to make it through an entire stage. Now, let's put the law of averages into it that you're going to have between 3 and 4, right? Because the third number and the fourth number in a scale of 6 are the median numbers, right? So let's say 3.5. You take 60 divided by 3, that's 20. So it's going to take about 15 to 20 dice, depending on your rolls, to get all the way here. Now, the cost for the dice, which you can go straight to from the plus sign there, there are dice that come up on this but you can only buy 20 of those a day so if you're going to buy dice i recommend going that route but if you want more dice right if you hear the calls of the whales come down here to your voyage packs you can get those you can see 14 for 25 dollars that's basically saying okay for 25 dollars i might clear one stage of that and then for 50 dollars i might clear two and a half to three stages of that now the information here will tell you that it will recharge every four hours, right? Every four hours, so six times a day, that's six dice. We say it's going to take between 15 and 20 dice to make it through an entire board, right? If you're going to get six dice a day, it's going to take two and a half days to fully get through one of these boards if you're not spending those diamonds or money on, on more dice. Now, at certain times, they'll give you bonus dice, right? Like, you can sometimes earn one of these lucky dice. You can see, going up through here, even if you play only the free-to-play, you will at least get to these first five 
Mythic Hero Shards, in addition to some other rewards. You see they give you dice right there. They give you dice right there. So for free to play, it's still worth doing, okay? Because if you look at it this way, if you only ever did this, 20 rotations of this event coming around, you'll have a Mythic Hero. Absolutely free. That's a long time in the future, but you need to be playing the long game. Right now we're in the early rush, the game coming out, the whales want to get ahead, everybody wants to just instant gratification. You gotta try to be patient, play the long game. And right here, by doing that, you can also get three more just for completing these, these benchmark goals, which is completely accessible just with what they're going to give you through the entire event if you don't miss any. Every day be doing that. Uh, get some with some of your gems. I think that's a good investment. The money aspect of things, right? As you can see, there are some people who are going pretty hard, right? So kind of got to look at what's a realistic number of Mythic Hero Shards for you to settle on and go with that. Also... These are nice because if you're in the top 20%, right, if you spend a little bit but not a lot, you're still going to get these small amounts. These, it may seem like you're nickel and diming it, right? But if in every event, things like this, where you can get one or two more Mythic Hero Shards, they add up. And that's what gets you to that level of having Mythic Heroes, right? So it's completely random, except for that you need to log in every day. Make sure you use all your dice. You can purchase extra dice. And you can control the outcome of these lucky dice. Other than that, it's completely random. You are at the luck of the draw. Right? We'd like to got a two, but we got a three. Went right past it. Now, four spots from here. Some gold. Great. Not really a big deal, but it is what it is. So, aside from the small things you can factor in, it's largely about who's going to buy the most dice. And so, we've answered the question, do wheels play board games? Yes. Yes, they do. All right, I'm J-Town. I will see you in-game. Infinite Magic Raid. Play to slay.